Hey guys, it's JB, and today I'm going to be showing you the very highly requested Baby Aurora. And this is the princess from Sleeping Beauty. And by the way, this is part one. And I'll have part two in the description box down below. And I'll also have my Disney playlist down below as well. Like all my figurine playlist, I mean, videos are down below as well. And let's just get started. Oh, and by the way, if you make any of my creations or you want to show me anything, please use the hashtag AsianGirl underscore bracelet. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which will be down below in the description box, like always. So today, you will need any type of loom. I'm using a rainbow loom. You're going to need a hook. I have a rainbow loom, I mean, metal tip hook from the Rainbow Loom web store. And you'll also need uh, these bands. So I wrote these down. And these are approximately how much you need. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much you need. Why is this not focusing today? Um, focus. Hello? Okay. So you need two band, two clear bands, which are optional to tie everything together. You need uh, 20, about 20 mangoes or yellows. I personally think mango bands are better for Aurora's hair. Not yellow, I don't know why. You need 22 skin tone bands. These are the pale ones from the mixed skin tone bands. You need two whites, 13 light pinks from the mixed skin tone bands, 14 regular pinks, and two ocean jelly blue for the eyes. You do not have to use jelly blue. You can use any type of blue for the eyes as well. Let's get started. So today I'm going to be looming like this, like all of my figurines. I'm looming sideways. So I'm going to put my hook aside. And first I'm going to start off with my two clear bands. And I'm going to go at the red arrow and place it downwards. Like so. And then I'm going to take my mango bands. And for the whole loom, I'm going to be using double bands. So I'm going to take two of each band. And if I'm not telling you I'm using two bands, I probably am. But I will tell you when I'm using single bands. So I'm going to take double bands of mango and place it diagonally outwards on both sides. Like that. And then I'm going to take more. And I'm going to put it in the middle peg row. Oops. And then I'm going to take two more and place it on the left and also the right side and then now let's start placing the face so I'm going to push these down real quick and I'm going to take skin tone bands again with two I'm going to place it on I'm going to place one row of those this is our first row this is the only row kinda Okay. And then I'm going to take two more, and this time we're just placing it in the middle row. Just the middle row, so it looks like that. So now let's close off of the face, and I'm going to take two more, and I'm going to go diagonally down like that. And then more skin tone band, and we're going to go diagonally in like that. So this is what your head should look like. Now let's place the neck and the body. So for the neck, you're going to take skin tone bands, and these are doubled again. And this time we're going to twist it in a figure eight and loop it upon itself so we made a double cap band. And we're going to place it from this peg down to here. Now let's place the body. And for the body, I'm going to take my whites. Oh, so sorry, you do not need... You do not need two whites, you need four whites. See, this is why I said you need at least. And my, um, they weren't exact, my tounding. So I'm going to take two whites and go diagonally out like that. And I'm going to take two more and go the other way. And then, now I'm going to take regular pink, and this is just regular pink. And I'm going to place one row of pink, just regular pink, by the way one row, this is our first row and 
beans. Now the second row we do not use regular pink. We use the light pink from the mixed skin tone bands. So they kind of look like the skin tone color. So I'm going to place one row of those and I'm using double bands again. And here's our one row of that. Then now let's place our um, we're going to place one more row of dark pink, or regular pink. And you can also use the new pastel pinks for the light pink. And I really want pastel bands, but I can't have them because I just got new bands. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's start placing cap bands and hands and arms and stuff like that. So, for the cap bands, they're going to act like shoes. So I'm just going to take one single p light pink band and wrap around this right peg three times. One, two, and three. And I'm going to take one more single pink band, light pink band and go on the left side once, twice, and then three times. Like so. And now let's place some horizontal bands for the body. So I'm going to take one single light pink band and I'm going to place it on three the three pegs right here to make a triangle. I'm going to take one more and I'm going to place it on these three to make a triangle but this time it's just regular pink. I'm going to take one more regular pink and I'm going to place it on these three pegs but this time you want to circle around so it looks like that or you can make your tri or you can place your triangle down and carefully take your hook and pull this one backwards like that. So it should look like this now. Now let's place the arms. So I'm going to take skin tone bands and I'm using double again. I'm going to place it on the right peg on these two pegs right here. And I'm also going to place it on these pegs right here. So it should look like that. And then now, I'm going to take one single skin tone band and wrap around this peg once, twice, and then three times. I'm going to take one more skin tone band and go on the left side and wrap around three times. Like that. And now let's start placing our eyes. So I have my ocean blue jelly. And we're going to go where the hair meets the skin color. So it's right here. And we're wrapping this around this peg four times. Once, twice, three times, and four times. And also on this peg with a single blue. Oops. Once, twice, three times, and four times. And then now let's take one single skin tone band. And I'm going to place it where the eyes are. And we're going to make a triangle like that. I'm going to take one more skin tone band and place it right under that triangle to make another triangle. Now let's before we make the hair we want to loop the eyes so I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna go on the outside where the blue is you do not want to go inside you wanna go on the outside and you just wanna grab the blue up and over you do not have to do it at the same time you can as long as you hook all of them together and also on this side so you just pull up and over like that and now let's make our hair so we're gonna go to the bottom of our loom like right here and then I'm going to place my mango band and I'm gonna place it in a figure eight like that like so sorry about the TV noise back there and I'm going to grab my hook and take this top layer right here, pull it back or pull it towards you. And you want to loop it like so. So you have two layers on this peg and one layer on this peg. Let me show you that again. So I'm going to take my band and make an infinity sign like that. Take my hook, grab the this top band right or not the top, like the upper band, pull it downwards, and loop over so it has two layers, as you can see right here. 
And now let's place four more bands to make our single chain. Well, you make a single chain with four more bands. So I'm going to place one band down and hook both of them up and over. And now we have a triple cap band right here. Push down. This is our second band. And you just hook a regular single chain. This is the third band. And this is the fourth band. Now you guys can pause to catch up to finish your single. But you're going to take your hook and put it through both of the loops. And this is what it should look like. It looks weird, kind of. And you want to go where the eyes were earlier. And you want to place whatever is on your hook on where on this peg right here. And now let's make another one. And this time I'm going a little bit faster. So you make your infinity sign. Take this top layer right here and loop it around. And place your four single chain once, twice, three, and our fourth one. You guys can pause and catch up again, like I said. And you take both ends, and you want to place it on where this eye was. So it looks like that. Boop. So you now your loom should look like this. And please go watch part two to learn how to loop the rest. And again, I will have the part two in the description box also my disney playlist and my instagram and twitter will be down below please subscribe like and comment and remember to use the hashtag asian girl underscore bracelets if you use if you make any creations or you just want to show me anything thanks for watching bye